I'm in the middle of opening some fabric that I purchased from Cali Fabrics. I've had this for a while and I wasn't ready to open it so it's just been in my room and I decided to go ahead and open it up today. But let me tell you all what I've been up to. So I decided I wanted to make a jumpsuit. I made McCall's 8204 which is this pattern here and I made the long version which is view C. I made this before in a cotton and this time I decided I wanted to make it in a corduroy fabric, something a little thicker for the cooler weather. So I wanted to make a muslin so I went to thrift store and I purchased this sheet actually and I thought it was cute. I like the colors in it but I was just using it for a muslin so I made the muslin but when I put the muslin on it was too tight in the crotch area in the back the front was okay it was just the back and I was like oh my goodness this is not gonna work it wasn't comfortable and I didn't like it so I decided to make an adjustment to the pattern I only adjusted the back piece so this is the back piece and all I did was I measured out one inch from the edge here of the pattern and then I just drew a line down and that is the only adjustment that I made and it worked it made everything fit a lot better the pattern does call for a cuff at the bottom I just put in a one inch hem and I figured if I wanted to cuff it I could and if I don't want to cuff it then I have the option of not cuffing it so I just left it long this is a learn to sew pattern I did cut an extra small and I thought the pattern was pretty easy to put together. It does have a facing that goes around the front and the back and the little side opening. And the side opening is pretty deep so you will have to wear something under it if you decide to make this. The corduroy fabric that I used for the jumpsuit is this corduroy fabric that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics and it was easy to work with. A and B have straps that come to the front and then they go through grommets and then view C the view that I made has ties that tie at the top into like a little bow well I just decided to take the tie that was in the pattern that was used for view A and B and I widened it about an inch and then I just took the tie and I thread it through the facing so I left an opening in the front of the facing and then thread the tie through. Once the ties were thread through the opening that was left in the front facing then I just adjusted the straps and then just closed those holes and that way the front of the strap was attached to the front of the jumpsuit. So I really like the jumpsuit. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. Now this fabric that I purchased, is it, oh, oh, it's already open, okay. This is, oh, they don't really match. So I was looking online and I was thinking I wanted to make a top and then use some type of mesh somewhere, maybe in the sleeves or maybe somewhere in the bodice. And I wanted the two olive green colors to match. I guess they look okay together, but they don't match as well as I thought that they would. Oh well. So anyway, I may not go with that plan. I will keep this mesh and I will keep this. I got a yard of this and a yard of this, so I'll find some use for these pieces. I just came from outside in the muslin taking pictures or taking videos so you can see the back and the issue that I was having. But I forgot to mention the pockets on this jumpsuit. So the pattern comes with side seam pockets and I decided not to put the pockets on the side but what I did do is I took the back pocket and I cut four pieces of the back pocket out and then I put two in the back and two in the front. So the same pockets that are on the front are from the same pocket piece that is in the pattern for the back. And then like I said, I just didn't put any pockets on the side. The jumpsuit doesn't have front pockets, it only has side pockets, but I added the front pockets. 